champions and the boxing superstars, where are you? I'm waiting, let's fight. I'm the most avoided boxer. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so Elvis Rodriguez, one of the you know biggest names in Dominican boxing, one of the young stars of Dominican boxing, looking to really make his make make a bigger name for himself in the 140 division and as he as he continues to climb closer and closer and trudge forward towards you know a potential world title opportunity in the uh, 140 pound division he's announced his next fight and boy oh boy is it a very very intriguing fight uh y'all can save the date it'll be july the 15th at the cosmopolitan he'll be fighting on uh frank mars next undercard which i'll do a separate video about but this is a good fight this is a damn good fight this fight got my attention this is probably to me the, the fight on the card because elvis rodriguez this guy you gotta remember guys you know two years ago this is this, this is one of the top ranks biggest prospects he loses the fight to um he loses the he loses a, a, a upset fight while he has all that momentum to kenneth sims jr pbc picks him up and, he, and he's won a couple fights since uh you know being picked up by pbc you know he's had uh one knockout victory against juan jose velasco and then he had the fight with uh joseph adorno which was really the majority of the decision i thought he won the fight pretty convincingly dropped adorno twice and um you know big test he's gonna be taking on one of my fair fighters in boxing and for those of you who really know me especially those of you who know me in real life who, who talk boxing to me he's fighting the Iceman. victor the Iceman postal is back and he'll be taking on ellis rodriguez now I'm not gonna lie, my, my, my heart is hurting a little bit because I gotta accept reality. Victor Postal's reached that stage of his career where like he's being used as a gatekeeper now. Um, because if Victor Postal was on form and he was fighting and he was match sharp, there's no way in hell PBC would make him fight uh, Victor Postal. El El Rodriguez fight Victor Postal. Victor Postal too sharp, too fast, too, too sharp, too experienced, too good. But Victor Postal's lost two fights in a row. Um, you know, didn't perform bad in either one of them. You know, he he he, had, he lost to uh, Gary Anton Russell, and I, you know, and he was he wasn't getting like dominated, but he was clearly losing the fight, and uh, he got stopped on paper. But you know, I thought it was a bad stoppage. But that coming off of his first career knockout loss, stoppage loss, fight before that was two years before when he fought Jose Ramirez for the world title, and I thought um, I actually thought he beat Ramirez, but they didn't they didn't give it to him. He lost he lost the majority decision to Jose Ramirez, so. Um, it's unfortunate what's happened to Postal, um, and I think that they, they, they see a fighter that's been inactive. They see a fighter who's aging. They see a fighter that you know has a name, has been champion, was once one of the the, the, the best fighters in this weight class. But they see a guy that's there to be beat, and um, you know a win here against a, a win here for Elvis Rodriguez could potentially set up maybe a a fight with him and Roley, maybe him and maybe a nice rematch with him and Kenneth Sims Jr. That could be a fight on on the horizon as well. So there's there's definitely some options out there for. Uh, Elvis Rodriguez, but style-wise, let's, let's talk about this fight style-wise. You got Elvis Rodriguez, Southpaw fighter. You know, um, I would say he's a guy that definitely has punching power, but um, you, I wouldn't classify him as a high-volume puncher. He likes to take his time, and and when he sees openings, he kind of you know explodes. He fights in spurts. Um, believe it or not, you know. I don't feel like this is this is a I feel like this is actually a winnable fight for Victor Postal's underdog. We've seen Elvis Rodriguez get out box before. If if Postal's able to box from range, we know what Postal can do. We know that Postal um, can still crack a little bit. We know that Postal um, is a hell of a boxer. We do we know these things. It's just that you kind of you kind of got to ask the question with with him being um, older now. How old is Victor Postal? He's got to be at least thirty. If I'm gonna say he's at least thirty three. Let's see how old he is. Do some fact checking here. Oh my God, I'm way off. This man's almost forty. He's thirty nine years old. He's old. <laughs> he's old. <laughs> you know, Post is a hell of a fighter, but he's old. And Father Time is undefeated against everybody. So, you know, I just, I just think Father Time might, might have Postal. But if, if he's got anything, I'll tell you this: if he has anything left in the tank, if, if the po I'm, I'll put it to, I'll put it to you as cut and dry as this. If the postal from the Ramirez fight shows up, he can he can beat Elvis Rodriguez easy. But I don't know if that postal is gonna show up. Um, postal to me is one of the best fighters around this weight class, and he's been in one of these guys for years. He's the guy that Danny Garcia didn't want to fight. He's the guy that knocked Luca Luca Petit into retirement, and he's also the last guy that went the distance with Terence Crawford. You know, we've had 
The last time Terrence Crawford went the distance with somebody, Barack Obama was our president. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long, long time since. But he was the last guy. So that, that tells you the kind of caliber of fighter he is. Elvis Rodriguez has a chance to make a statement here. I think if he beats him, hands down the best win on his resume. And the fight that PBC needs to be angling for if he beats Postal, which is going to be a tough fight because he's had to get past that long probing lead hand of Postal. Then if he gets past it, he has to make sure he doesn't get caught by the straight right hand, which is very educated in Postal. So there's going to be some things that Elvis has to work out, and we're going to see his boxing IQ put to the test against Victor Postal. But um, if he's able to beat him, then I would like to see Elvis Rodriguez fight the other you know guys at 140 in the PBC stable, guys like um, you know Brandon Lee who's looking for a fight, guys like. Um, Gary Anton Russell, who also fights Postal, they had a common opponent now, so that could be a fight. And then even like someone like a, a Shohan Ergachev. Yeah, I'd like to see Ergachev get a shot at Victor Elvis Rodriguez, but that probably won't go well for Elvis. You know, Ergachev's a different cloth, come from a different cloth, different breed. But um, great fight. Looking forward to seeing what Elvis Rodriguez can do against a faded version of Postal. And looking forward to seeing Postal, if he can turn back the clock just that one last time and beat a young fighter like Ellis Rodriguez. Really, really, to me, the, the most intriguing fight on the card. Um, good card on that same card. You know, Frank Martin's the headliner. He's fighting some guy I don't know anything about yet. I'll do a research. Um, and then uh, Donaire's fighting uh, Santiago. I think Alexandra, Alexander, Alexander Santiago, I think is his name. So good fight, good fighters on the card. But to me, on paper, best fight on the card is right here. The fight I'm most, most excited about is, is this one right here. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniels. So until next time, take your guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hantanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.